Hey guys, so today I have this really fun, really easy feather manicure, and this is using real feathers. This was inspired by a picture tutorial that was on the Nail Osaurus's website. I'll put a link to that post below so you guys can check that out. So yeah, this is really easy, a lot easier than it looks. If you want to see how to do this, then keep watching. Okay, so I applied my base coat of Essie's Ridge Filler. And then it's also good to use a base coat that's similar to your feather color that you're using because the feathers aren't going to cover the nail completely and this way it won't look just like empty nail. So I used Chinchilli from Essie because the feathers that I'm using are kind of a brown and white. I got the feathers from Joann's. They were I think like $1.99 or $2.99 for a pack like this. I got these brown ones. Then I also got some colored ones that I haven't used yet, but they would be good if you want a more colorful version of the nails. Most of the feathers will come out of the package like this, with kind of a fuzzy end, and then the end that you want to put on your nail. What you need to do is kind of lay them over your nail and trim around the edge. It's really important that these fit your nail as best as possible, um, at least around the cuticles, because they are really, really difficult to actually remove extra from around the cuticle once they're already on the nail. You can see that there's a curve on each feather. What you should do when you place these on the nail is place the nail inside of the curve so that it curves downward onto the nail. If you turn it this way, you're going to have a really hard time um, with the top coat because the feather's natural shape is going to want to pull away from the top coat and it's going to want to stick up off the nail. So make sure that you put the curve down onto the nail when you do this. So I've already trimmed this one and as you can see it's a lot longer than my pointer finger nail and you do want a lot of extra on the edges because that will make it easier to, you're going to have to clip it off and file it down a little bit. If it's too short it's not going to cover the end of the so nail. So it's okay that it's longer because you do trim it up and clean it up later. The first thing you're going to do is put a coat of top coat over there. You're going to want to do one nail at a time because you do want the top coat wet for each feather. So once that's on the nail you want to make sure that your curve is downward and then just place the feather on the nail and then you can actually lick your finger on your other hand I know that sounds really gross and press the feather down into the nail the best that you can and the reason you lick your finger is to keep your finger from sticking into the top coat and pulling chunks of the top coat back up Then you go ahead and let that dry and you can do all the other fingers while you're at it. So once you have all your nails done and you have feathers hanging off the edges, um, it's good to take a thicker top coat. I'm using Sesh Feet. I've said before that I hate Sesh Feet as a regular top coat, but it does work really well for covering thicker things like chunky glitters, like the kinds you get from an indie seller, or in this case, feathers. And it's actually going to take probably two or three coats of this. So oh, this it's also really important to put the top coat on before you trim the feathers. You want to trim and file the feathers down absolute last thing after all the layers of the top coat are dry because they will be easier to file and easier to cut once they have a little bit of top coat over them because they'll be thicker. So again, when you put the top coat on, kind of drag it over onto the end of the feather a little bit and as it dries it'll harden the feather and make it easier to file. And if you find that the feathers are kind of starting to lift up as you drag the top coat brush forward, it's totally fine to actually do the top coat backwards and drag it back from the other direction and go in the same direction that the grain of the feathers is going because then it won't pull the feathers up off your nail. If you find that you have any areas that are lifting up even with the top coat like I do over here on my finger, one of your layers of top coat, not your last layer because you will end up putting a dent in there, it's good to just like put it on, let it get a little tacky and then hold it down with just the end of a brush. I'm using my cleanup brush, which is just the $1 concealer brush from e.l.f. And I just kind of use that to tap down the end that's sticking up. And just kind of keep tapping it, or tap it and hold it until the top coat starts to dry, and then it should stick to the top coat. And again, remember on all your layers of top coat to drag the top coat out a little bit past the edge of the nail onto the feather, because it will make it a lot easier to clip. You can either use cuticle scissors or nail clippers. I would suggest probably cuticle scissors, but I can't find mine. After that, you just want to trim the extra feather off as close to the nail as possible. It might be easier to actually turn your finger upside down so you can see where your nail line is so you don't accidentally clip your nail. Once those are all clipped off, you want to take a file. I like to use a glass file 
They last a lot longer and they don't tear thin nails. I have really thin nails and regular emery boards tend to kind of rip my nails a little bit. So I like to use a glass file. They're a little pricey. I think it was like $6 for this at Sally's. But um, again, they last a really long time and they're a lot more gentle on the nails. So because you have a little bit hanging off the edge, if you file it back and forth, you run the risk of lifting the top coat up, lifting the feather up and kind of breaking that bond between the top coat and the nail. So you can actually hold the file sideways like this and kind of bend where the extra feather is down and then pull downward. We'll file that extra feather down from the end of the nail and not tear it up. And if while you're doing this you find a piece that's not really stuck down to the nail very well or if you accidentally lifted a piece up, I have the end of my ring finger right here is not stuck down very well. You want to take your top coat and wipe the brush off a little bit and then kind of poke the end um, that's not stuck down very well. Because there's so many layers of top coat, if you just put it at the top, it's not going to get underneath the feather and hold it down. And then after you do that, just like I showed you before, use the end of a brush to kind of stick that down. And then any leftover top coat globs that stick out can just be filed off. And after that, you are all finished. I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I will talk to you later. Bye.